Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. Are you a chip off the old block? I am. I was chagrined one Sunday afternoon in my early teen years as an older woman approached me on a crowded avenue in downtown Calgary. I had never seen her before, but I could tell by her expression she knew who I was. She exclaimed, you are Kay Cameron's daughter I'd recognize her face anywhere. And she was right. Kay Cameron was my mother's maiden name. Although at that time I was at the age I would rather just be myself on the downtown streets, I couldn't escape the fact that I looked just like my mother. As I matured, however, I'm happy that I look like my mother. I'm glad that I take after her. One day, as I was meditating upon Psalm 145, verse 8 and 9, the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. I thank God for his love, mercy, graciousness, infinite patience, and his steadfast love towards me. And as I did, I felt God's pleasure over my heart toward him, but I also felt that familiar invitation to enter into a little conversation. I confessed, you know, Lord, although words are my tools, I find myself without the words that can express just how wonderful you are when I'm trying to tell others about how great your love is. He replied, if you really want those around you to experience my love, then just take after me. How I long for the day when people look at my face and say, oh, you must be the daughter of the High King. I'd recognize his face anywhere. Ephesians 5 verse 12, therefore be imitators of God as beloved children and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us. Here's a way you can do a little checkup just to see how well you are reflecting the Christ that dwells within you. Go back and read Psalm 145 verse 8 and 9 and ask yourself this question. Can you replace the Lord in that passage with your name. Catherine is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. Catherine is good to all. She has compassion on all that God has made. And then go to Philippians chapter 2. The last half of that chapter talks about how Christ lowered himself and made himself a servant to all and see how you fit into that situation. Might be a little bit humbling. Take a couple of those points and think of ways where you can instill those godly characteristics into your day-to-day. -day.